Hello and welcome to Mock Productions, you're here with me, Matthew, and we are back with more Skylanders Superchargers news, some very, very interesting news. We are finally going to be able to say that we know what every single character and their specific vi uh, figure or vehicle is going to look like. This whole update is going to totally show off the rest of... Of the figures which need to be shown off we have seen pictures and uh, it's it's very interesting stuff coming up and I have to apologize I've been suffering a little bit of a cold but we don't really want to know about that um, but uh, my voice is probably gonna sound a little bit weird at some point so anyway let's move on and show the first figure which is Thrillipede now I like this because uh, the, f the figure itself, I think, has brought out more details. You know, there's only so much you can get from a picture. Um, and, and to be honest, it was a slightly blurry picture. But in this, he's sort of wearing what looks like a winter sort of coat, but it's almost like a military-style coat. He's got these grenades which are shaped like a possible bug. Um, I don't know what sort of bug it is, but they look really, really cool. He's got a pin actually in his mouth as if he's just pulled it out of that one in his... I mean, he's got four hands, but it's the one that's sort of leant back as if he's going to throw it over arm. But this guy seriously looks awesome. The, the green of the base, I think, definitely shows that he is a different sort of green, if not like an emerald green. Um, but the colours and everything, they really do help bring out his, his, his overall character. I like the glasses, they're pretty funky. Um, so yeah, really like this guy, and I can't wait to actually see what's behind him, because if he's a thrillipede, I'm hoping he's got some sort of weird tail coming out the back, which would be pretty cool and add a little bit more detail to the overall figure. And there's Buzzwing, which is obviously his own vehicle, and this is looking absolutely awesome. Um, I'm hoping, possibly, that the uh, the uh, the specific action this does is that you roll it on the ground, and those wings looks as if it's got enough space to possibly flap, or at least you can clip them together and you can make it flap, because they look seriously awesome. Um, the, the, they don't look like uh, normal plastic, they look almost like clear plastic, so I'm hoping to see this pretty soon um, in person. I'm guessing this is probably going to be part of Wave 4, maybe, maybe, or at least come out in 2016, uh, seeing as we already know what Wave 1 to 3 is. <clears throat> so moving on, we've got this, which I'm so excited for. We have got Double Dare trigger happy finally in a figure form and boy does this guy look so cool um he definitely looks like one of those people who get shoved in a cannon but and also the fact that his gun has a ring of fire which is normally what they leap out of and the fact that the gun even looks like a cannon i believe that points towards him being a bit more of a daring sort of stunt double sort of thing um now <laughs> There's a really funny trailer, uh, which is um, it was it came out yesterday, or at least it's an expanded trailer on the new one. And this guy is like sort of center stage in it, um, but it's just so funny. He's always it's as always. Trigger Happy is just so awesome. I'm so glad he's in this uh, this set because he just makes the game so much fun. His voice, his actual look, and the tongue is such a distinguished sort of feature for him, flapping around everywhere and hooking on to stuff and doing all that, but looking at what is actually happening in that trailer, maybe his tongue could actually be a bit of an attack move. Um, who knows? We might have to just wait and see. Moving on from that, we've got this, which is obviously his artwork. Again, looking really cool there. He's got that sort of finger point uh, there. He's always had that. Uh, you can see it on the figure there, and then you can see it there. It looks pretty funny that he's sort of winking in that one, and then he's actually normal on that one. <clears throat> but he does look cool nevertheless. And this is his vehicle, which I'm so stoked for. Uh, it just looks so cool. The colours, you can tell straight away, that's Trigger Happy's vehicle. Um, it's, a it's obviously a land vehicle, but it's got three wheels, almost like the Shark Tank, or if not identical to the Shark Tank, uh, where the Shark Tank has the treads on the front and the two sides. Um, but... The amount of exhaust coming out of it, I'm guessing this is probably going to be a pretty fast vehicle. I love the little almost like um, 
what's it called, a Phillips screwdriver on the side. There's like a, as if you could plug a screwdriver into the side and tighten the wheels on more. It just looks so cool. Very tech, tech orientated and very trigger happy esque, especially in his new sort of colour scheme with all of his uh, bits and bobs. We got this, which shows it off in the artwork, which again, you got all that fire coming out of all those exhausts. And it just looks so awesome. I can't wait to see this one in hand and be able to start rolling it around everywhere. Who knows what will happen with the feature. Maybe something rumbles while you uh, move it around. But hopefully all the wheels will actually move because it doesn't look as if... No, it doesn't look there as if anything is going to stop it from uh, rotating around and around. Pretty cool. So moving on, we've got this, which is Astro Blast. Now, I don't know if I showed the figure off. Uh, but this is a bit more of a, I mean, it's slightly discoloured because of the background, it's white. But you can see what's going on here, and he almost looks, uh, how could you say, um, like a Traptanium crystal. The the, uh, the head and his, uh, his gun is uh, very clear plastic, or at least Traptanium-like. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see what this guy is like actually in hand. The base is very much like uh, the Traptanium as well, where you can't barely see it uh, because the light is shining through it. But he does look really cool, and I actually cannot wait to get this guy as well. Now we have this. Now we saw the back, I believe, of this uh, vehicle, um, and this one again looks so awesome. It just it just blows my mind what what could be done here. Um, the, the overall sort of sculpt of this is just very, very awesome. This is obviously the vehicle for High Vault. Um, it, it, it does blend very well with his overall character, his, his colours. But this is very interesting, and I have to say, I am loving the amount of detail which they have put onto these figures. You can see the scratching on the front of what looks like a snowplow, um, a dent on the front bonnet of the car, and then the sort of grill section at the top, or is that... Is it a grill? Spoiler, sorry. Uh, the windows are sort of rioted up. They've got all those bits on them, so they're hiding what's actually inside. And then you can see on the side these almost tech gears on the side for the wheels, and they are looking pretty sweet. My guess is this one is going to be very much like uh, Shark Tank, where the wheels don't roll, because you can see there that those two wheels seem interlocked. Now, I don't know if that's going to work to the vehicle's advantage, and they're all going to roll at the same time. I don't know. <coughs> I'm suffering a bit from this cold. Right. Uh, and then, obviously, we have this, which is the artwork for it. And again, this just shows off so much more detail that the figure actually... Oh, no, it does have it. It's got the scratches on the front um, and all the dents and everything. It does show it off, though, a lot better in the actual artwork here. So it's really, really cool to see this. And it almost looks like a bit of a racer car. Um... As if uh, High Vault is a bit of a, a racing dude. Uh, now this is interesting. Splat here. Now I am liking this, and I think I understand why she's called Splat. I think that thing in her hand, what I'm gonna call some sort of star for, it's um, it's one of it's almost like uh, one of those things the gymnasts have with the ribbon, the ribbony thing on a bob. Um, but I think the reason she's called Splat is because her moves are very much. Uh, in the concept of paint. Now, the reason I say that is because that stick almost looks like a paintbrush with the paint splashing out of it and being different colours. Um, it does look really interesting. Also, seeing her here, she does look very sheep ram-esque. Um, I'd probably call it a ram because of the horns, but then the front face, the f nose is flat and the ears are sort of sheep-esque. But the colours and everything are just amazing, and I'm hoping... It won't be long before we see this one in hand very nicely. Now, I have to say, I do like the base for the magic as well. You've got the same sort of round magic symbol, and then that engine is just smacked in the middle of it and caused like a... It's almost as if it's erupted out of the, uh, the magic base that this engine has just popped out, and there you go, there is Splat, um, looking pretty damn cool. Then, obviously, the artwork here. Again, you can see that paint. This is what I mean by the paint. You can see it's almost like a splash effect on the paint. Um, 
but uh, really, really cool. That, or it's like one of those fire things that the people can spin around in their hands and throw to each other. Um, but, oh, this this is just so, so cool. She is apparently going to be out in Wave 3, so that's going to be pretty cool. That's December 1st. I don't know if that's everywhere, but it's December 1st, which has been stated at the moment. Then we got this one, another magic big bubble pop fizz. A bit of a better picture here of him, looking pretty cool, blowing that trumpet horn thing. Um, and he just looks so awesome. And in the trailer as well, it does he does actually turn into his beast mode. So it looks as if that is still part of it. But hopefully maybe the beast mode is slightly different and it's not just claws. It's possibly he sings. I don't know. He could like roar or something like that. Really ridiculous, but at least it links in with this musical sort of uh, effect which is going on with the figure. This guy is looking pretty sweet though. Lava Lance Eruptor. Again, looking really cool. I like how... His uh, his actual uh, fist there is actually still there, and he's got this sort of add-on feature of more volcano lance there. Uh, but this guy does look super cool, and uh, you know it's a, another picture to show off a little bit more uh, detailed picture, I'd say, because obviously it is still a raptor, but we can see him a bit more front on, especially the base, which is looking pretty sweet as well. Now there's this one, which is Bone Bash Roller Brawl. Now I am liking this one a lot. Um, the the base, I really like the base of all the bones. I think I've mentioned that before with uh, Fiesta. But uh, the overall sculpt and everything, having all that, that roller derby armor on made of bones is just so cool. It blocks out her face. She's got these staring pink eyes, which are... Almost ghostly, and then there's this sort of traptanium boomerangy sort of uh, what would you call it scythe coming out of her arm, which is just looking absolutely awesome. So I I cannot wait to see this one in either packaging or actually in hand because it's just going to be so cool to see this one from all different angles because she just looks absolutely immense and awesome. So so stoked for this one it's amazing uh we got the, i was going to say the soda skimmer there that's not that one that is the splatter the splatter splasher this is obviously splat's vehicle with the horns poking out of it you can definitely see that this is uh this is her vehicle and it is looking absolutely awesome really really looking forward to this getting this is that one is apparently going to be coming out in wave three as well then we've got this which is the sun runner uh and this is astro blast vehicle showing this off you can see the traptanium there now there was a poster and i was going to post it but it was a it was too very very small um and it's basically the poster of all the characters and people have basically filled in what the different uh parts were for the different vehicles and characters seeing as we now have every single character sort of seen and everything like that but the totally upgraded version or supercharged version of this has that front spike and it's like a, a dagger almost coming around the whole vehicle. So the whole front of the vehicle turns into one massive almost traptanium dagger coming out the front. All the other spikes sort of combine together at the front to make this massive one. But it does look so, so cool. Then there's this, which is obviously Thump Truck. And I really, really like the look of this. And it definitely... It definitely uh, matches well with Smash Hit. Um, the colours and everything and uh, the, the way they link together is really, really cool. Um, two sort of construction. Uh, you've got a Skylander and a vehicle. But I, what I like about this is that this, this is going to turn into a majority of different sort of construction vehicles. Because we've seen the, the sort of... Uh, trailer which shows the front that front end which looks like some sort of jaw scoop thing turn into different things and I'm guessing the back is almost going to be like a turbo device but I'm guessing that might even change to possibly like some sort of crane being on top or something really cool the spikes poking out the side look awesome and it really does look like one of those little construction things you'd have when you're a kid they just look so cool and there is what looks like an absolutely awesome look at this guy. All these vehicles look so battered and, and tattered and beat up. But that's the best thing about it because it adds so much detail. They they may as well have left the scoop orange and not done that brown. But the gradient which you can see on, on this actual artwork here is just astonishing. And it's really, really 
intense and awesome. It really is amazing. Then we got the soda skimmer here, which I really like the look of. Um, I, I like how the bottom part of the um, hovercraft is almost as if it's going to explode as soon as it goes in the water. That the the because obviously it fills up with air. Um, it, it it looks just ready to go pop if you like got a pin and popped it. But I can't wait to see how this one actually um, functions. Uh, I can't really see anything which could happen when you roll it or move it. Um, but who knows, there might be some sort of special feature at the back. Maybe there's a rotor in one of those horns. And as you roll it, possibly it will spin or something like that. But it does look really, really cool. Then there is this, which is the tomb buggy. And I absolutely love this thing. It looks so cool, and I hope, I hope that those wheels do actually move, because the amount of bumps and all that, which you can have, you could drive, you could put this in the sand, and it would probably be perfect, because obviously it's like a doom buggy, uh, doom buggy is just a buggy, or a sand buggy, or a, sa a, j a dune sand thing I'm a bob. Um, but, oh, I love this, because it's got a roll cage, which is made out of bones, and it's almost like a spinal thing. This whole thing looks like a creature has just been stuffed with engines and wheels and everything and just turned into this absolutely awesome de device, which obviously uh, Roller Brawl will be using. The the, the detailing, the, a lot of the cars on, on these things have got all their, their turbo engines and everything and the exhausts. There's like 300 exhausts popping out of them. And that just adds to this supercharged effect. I can't wait to see what this one actually looks supercharged. Because it's just going to look absolutely amazing. I wouldn't be surprised if the bones possibly grow bigger and turn a different colour. But the face, where, where the mouth is almost holding the engine, I absolutely love that design. It looks so cool. Moving on from that, we have to talk about some of these. Now, they have also shown off some different variants here. So, obviously, this one, you'll be thinking, oh, it's legendary. It is legendary. Legendary Astro Blast. Now, what is interesting about this, not only is this Astro Blast, not only does it look awesome, but also the fact that it's got this as well, which is uh, sort of uh, another picture. It also show give gives a bit more detail, actually, to Astro Blast um, and how he is going to look I say that loosely it might it might not be Astro Blast sounds very masculine he looks very masculine so I'm guessing uh, he's gonna be a male but not only do we have Astro Blast getting a legendary sort of coating uh, we've also got Thrillipede and this is gonna be called Easter Thrillipede this guy looks so cool. I love it when they make uh, different Skylanders look like a rabbit. And here you can actually see that tail poking out behind. So it's not just going to be a little stump coming out. It's actually going to be a proper, th uh, th what they call, centipede. Where the whole body has like this tail and all the little arms are like creeping along. This guy just looks so, so, so cool. Having all of those grenades, different colours, almost like a little Easter eggs. Although I don't think you want to eat them because, well, it wouldn't end very well. Uh, but, uh, oh, I just absolutely find this so awesome. Um, we've got this as well, which is a legend, another legendary, legendary roller brawl. Um, which is just looking so cool again with that, like, scythe thing coming out of her hand. Um, a majority of the figure is going to be sort of this dark blue or metallic black. Uh, with this bright gold. It's just so awesome. Really, really cool. And there's the artwork for it. Really surprised the artwork is out for it. But uh, it turns her hair from pink to almost blonde. It is blonde. It's gold. Blonde gold. She's dyed her hair. She's dyed her skin. She's... she's oh, it just looks amazing. Really, really cool. Moving on from this. Now, this is what I was trying to uh, show you, is that Astro Blast is getting legendary, but we're having another vehicle, which is going to be a legendary. So this is Legendary Sunrunner, and this just looks so cool. It looks almost as if it could just be thrown into the dark element. The the, the, the light, uh, the whole light aspect is out the window, and now it's just turned into this dark Traptanium sort of looking figure, which just looks so cool. It's just absolutely amazing, and I, I can't wait to see this in hand. Now, I don't know if this is coming out in day one, 
it's a legendary, and most of the ex- uh, like the legendaries and all that do come out sort of day one. Uh, this might be a sort of uh, wave three thing for like uh, actually that would make sense because wave three is supposed to have the can the sky action pack yeah with the Wolfgang uh, trophy so that will be pretty cool to see hopefully Ma- ah that's another thing because we did actually get um what's her name his name Blades as a legendary with all of the adventure packs so maybe we might get a completely different uh, action pack which is a legendary version that might be a pretty cool thing to think of um, and will be pretty cool there is the artwork for it again looking really cool and the gradients in color of on that gold is almost a, a dirt brown it's just really really cool so much interesting stuff here finishing it off we have nitro oh yes another nitro soda skimmer so cool to have a a, a water uh, element uh, sorry not a water element a sea uh, craft with nitro on it um, and you could see that sort of magical music effect coming out of those trumpets and they just look so cool can't wait to see what uh big bubble pop is going to look like in this because hopefully he's going to fit in really really well um and this is just going to be so cool to see in hand again i don't know if this is coming out in day one it might make sense for it to come out when the other soda skimmer comes out so i think that will probably be the best thing um but yeah, as for the pictures and all the figures, that is it. That is some perfectly great news. There is one more matter I do want to bring up, though, because I need your help. Um, I would like all of the subscribers and viewers to give me a hand here, because there is... Let's think about this. There, it's under... Tw- by the time I'm recording this, under 20 days for America, under... 23 days for the UK or Europe and I think it's under 19 or 20 days for Australia before this game comes out so less than a month now we are it's the first of September today actually wow um but so awesome that it's just it, it's under a month it's, it's 23 to 4 days away for me in the UK, um, but for people in America, you lucky people, um, you'll be getting it a few days earlier, which is just going to be so cool. But what do I need your help with? Well, I want to know what you want to see different with not just the gameplay and not just the unboxings, but whether you want to see some new videos for Skylanders. Maybe there's something which you would personally like me to do. Maybe there's a video, uh, a format, or something that others do that I haven't maybe going out places and checking for the Skylanders doing um hunting videos or whatever um but you have to I would like I would like people to help me here I want to know what your opinions are do you want to see the videos the exact same length do you want them to just be the full chapter as one do you want like a 60 minute full-on episode if you're going to find that boring state it if you don't want to see a 60 minute episode because you think it's going to be boring and you won't watch it all fair enough i'll split it up as i've done normally but this is why i want people to comment and discuss this down in the comments below we've built up a community over the past four years now and it's growing and growing every single day and i want to hear from all the different people to influence what will be going on the channel i want to make this game as informative and as enjoyable as possible and if that means um you know putting the gameplay out at 20 minutes or half an hour or if people want it 60 minutes um if you want a specific amount of gameplay before doing something different so maybe you want one chapter bit of multiplayer another chapter bit of multiplayer but i want to let i want you personally to give me ideas I have ideas myself, but I want to hear what you as a community, and discuss it in the comments below, want to see it for this game. Do you want to see um, an almost like a review of a figure? Do you want to see an unboxing just straight off all of them? Do you want the whole video to come back where I just bring back what I got on day one? 
Do you want to actually see me going to go get everything? Because I really wouldn't mind doing that because it would be super cool to be going all to the different shops, going in there and thinking, right, what am I going to get? Um, you let me know. I mean, that's just some of the ideas I've been thinking of. Um, but it's up to you. So I'm going to leave that up to you. So obviously you can comment down below helping me with this and your own thoughts on these figures and everything like that who are you most excited for as well i want to know one one person or if you can't think of one but majorly just the one character and the vehicle doesn't have to be the matching one it can be anyone in particular you are the most excited for it could be a legendary it could be nitro it could be what's the other one it could be a frightful it could be an easter version who knows um I want to know from all of you guys, and obviously if you're new to the channel and finding me for the first time, and you're thinking, is he ever going to get rid of that cold? Yeah, I will. Don't worry. It is on the way out. Um, but you can subscribe to the channel uh, to see more gameplay as it's still going up as we speak. We've got some Splatoon going up. Um, obviously today is going to counteract the Skylander videos, finishing them off. Hopefully uh, it'll be early next week we're finishing them off. Continue with Splatoon and then it's just straight on with Skylander Superchargers. How long? How long do you want me to carry on doing uh, Skylander Superchargers for? Do you want me to do like a, a whole month of just intense videos every single day? Two videos a day? Three videos a day? Give me a challenge, you know. You, well, that's all you got to do. you got to just put it in the comments below. And if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button below. As it obviously helps me... Um, understand what people are enjoying and I uh, you know I enjoy reading the comments and we all have a bit of a party down in the comments talking and all that so I want to see hear from you as the community subscribers and viewers um, what you are hoping to see from all of this so thank you very much for watching this I will see you guys in the next video on the channel thank you very much I'll see you then and goodbye